All right guys, quick video today. I'm gonna to share with you a video that I made for one of my video analysis clients, Spencer. And I wondered if any of you guys have a similar issue or if you have any advice for him. Can you help him to improve this backhand volley and keep that racket a little bit more stable as he's striking the ball? All right, mate, got an exciting video for you today. Me and Slavi had a long discussion about your backhand volley. And before I get into that, Let's just talk about the forehand volley real quick. It looks fantastic. Arms in a great position. Getting through that strike just looks very controlled and you look confident hitting it. Backhand volley, we still have a little bit of this going on through, this, through the strike. Looks like you got a couple of swings, the racket's fluttering. And we want the same thing on the backhand volley that we have on the forehand volley where the racket stays true and you just get through that strike. Now there are some good ones where that doesn't happen, but I think it happens mainly because you've hit the middle of the racket. So there's not this, you know, uh, the racket's not gonna wobble quite as much when it comes right out of the sweet spot. Now what we're thinking is you can't be holding the racket tight enough as you're coming into contact. And I think what's happening is you'll be a little bit loose as you're hitting. And then once the racket moves a little bit, you then try to tighten the grip and control that movement but at that stage your arms quite far away from your body and it's quite hard to control the racket head so there's this fighting with the racket to try and keep it stable what you really need on this volley is you can be pretty tight from start to finish really it's one of those shots where you can hold the racket pretty firm but if you were to have a, a decrease and increase of, of pressure it would be sort of like a, a bell curve you know, you, you can be a little more relaxed here. And then as you come into the strike, squeeze tight and then release. And you must be doing it kind of the other way around. And it kind of looks like you're, you're volleying a, a, vo a, a baseball or a, I don't want to say a bowling ball, but like, it's like you're, you're, you're hitting a very heavy ball and the ball is winning the collision. And if you hold that racket tight and you strike that ball, you should be able to get right through it without that racket moving at all. You know, I don't know how, exactly how tight you're holding it. I, I can't obviously see that, but I'm putting it out there for, for you as some information and something to uh, monitor next time you're on court and give me some feedback in terms of grip pressure and, you know, if squeezing the racket helps you to control that racket face. But obviously now you've got this information, go away, work on it and come back with some feedback and let me know how it goes. Talk to you soon.